Greeting everyone. We are still dealing with a probability, grade 12, three diagram problem set. The given problem says that there are two orange balls and two yellow balls in a bag. Craig randomly selects one ball from the bag, records his choice, and returns the ball to the bag. He then randomly selects a second ball from the bag, records his choice, and returns it to a bag. It is known that the probability that Craig will select two balls of the same color from the bag is 52%. Okay, so the problem that you are faced with today says that we are about to calculate how many orange balls are in the bag. Alright, so before we even solve the problem, we have to know what is it that we have. Given. What is given to us, we are given T orange balls, right? And we are also given two yellow balls. And we are also given that the probability of picking two same balls is sorry two same balls is here it's orange and orange is equal to 0 0.52 because 52 percent can be converted into decimals by saying 52 divided by 100 so i'm just using decimal form this is the information that is given to us. So, we are now going to present the solution. Here is the solution. Alright. The fact that we have two colors, it's orange and yellow, we pick, we replace, we pick, we replace. So, meaning we will be working with the three diagrams. So, first thing first, this is what I know. I have two balls, one is orange, the other one is yellow. The probability of picking an orange ball, look carefully here. We have two colors, it's either orange or yellow. So meaning the, the sample space is the summation of the two. Meaning if I want to pick an orange uh, ball, it will be T over orange ball plus yellow ball. Here, if I picked yellow, it will be 2 over orange ball plus yellow ball. Again, I have orange and yellow. So orange, I said that when I pick, I replace. Meaning, there is nothing that affects the outcome for this one. Because I pick and replace. So, meaning the probability of picking the orange ball is still t over t plus 2. And here it is still 2 over t plus 2. Probability of picking yellow, orange, and yellow. Alright? So, here it still remains as t over t plus 2. Here is 2 over t plus 2. Alright, so here are the possible outcome. So it's a probability of picking orange and orange is equal to a probability of picking orange times the probability of picking orange. Okay, so here it is the probability of picking orange and Yellow, which is equal to a probability of picking orange times the probability of picking yellow. Here, it is a probability of picking yellow intersection orange, the probability of yellow, probability of orange, and here it will be a probability of yellow intersection yellow, which is equal to probability of yellow times probability of yellow.
So from here, the probability of picking orange multiplied by the probability of picking orange is equal to here is the probability of picking orange and the probability of uh, picking orange is equal to t over t plus 2 all squared and orange and yellow is equal to so here it will be this one times this one so it will be t over t plus 2 times uh, 2 over t plus 2 the probability of picking yellow and orange is equal to uh, 2 over t plus 2 times uh, t over t plus 2 and here it's yellow and yellow so it's this one and this one so it will be 2 over t plus 2 times 2 over t plus 2 okay so from the information that I have now meaning I can solve for this one using that the probability of yellow intersection yellow is this one and the probability of orange intersection orange is this one so due to space I'm going to erase so now I know that a probability of orange intersection orange is this one so instead of writing it like this i will replace this one by this expression over here of which is 2 over t plus 2 so you see it's a representation of the same thing so that's why i'm squaring it plus it's t over t plus 2 and then i square it so it's equal to 0 comma 52 so by squaring this you, you know that the laws of exponent so a over b when i square it, it becomes a squared over b squared so this is what i'm going to perform here so it will be 2 squared 2 squared is 4 over t plus 2 squared plus here it will be t squared over t plus 2 squared which is equal to 0 comma 52 so here you see we have a, a same denominator so i can take t plus 2 squared and here i'm left with 4 plus t squared is equal to 0 comma 52 so to eliminate the denominator or just multiply with it both sides so t plus 2 squared t plus 2 squared okay i multiply both sides so this one and this one cancels i'm now left with 4 plus t squared is equal to 0 0.52 into t plus 2 squared so this is plus this is plus so 4 plus t squared is same as so here i'm going to expand this 0 0.52 so it is t squared plus it's 40 plus uh, it's 4 All right so from here i can multiply with this throughout I'll be left with 4 plus t squared. When I multiply with this one, I get 0, 0,52 t squared. Okay, so here, when I multiply 0, 0,52 by 4, I get 2,08. But here it is with t, and here it is 2,08. 2,08 is a constant. So I take this side. To the other side okay so to the t squared minus 0 comma 52 t squared which is equal, okay sorry minus 2 comma 0 8 t minus 2 comma 0 8 and here it will be just plus 4 equal to 0 so 
when I have the two, when I subtract the two, I get zero comma four eight t squared. And here, this one continue as it is t. But this one, when I add the two, I will get uh, it becomes uh, plus it's plus one comma nine two is equal to zero. So from here, you can just use quadratic equation. You just use quadratic formula, not equation, it's a quadratic formula because it is now in the form of a quadratic equation. Where your A here is equal to 0, 0,48, your B is equal to minus 2,08, and your C is equal to 1,92. So meaning if you uh, want to solve for t here, I will just say t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So here minus b is minus into so negative and negative. Okay, let me plug everything here. Plus or minus square root of minus 2 square inch minus 4 uh, multiplying by 0 comma 4 inch multiplying by 1 comma 9 two. so I divide throughout by 2 into 0 comma 4 inch so let me punch my calculator you will be working with your calculator here it's minus into minus two. The answer is if you use plus here, you tend to find that your t is equal to three, or your t is equal to then when you plug minus, uh, when you plug minus to your calculator, the answer is four over three. But since we know that we are working with balls. Balls cannot be in a form of fractions, it will always be in a form of uh, natural numbers. So, t cannot be equal to 4 over 3, but t is 3. After all being said, thank you very much. I hope the video was very fruitful. Please don't forget to subscribe and you press the ring bell button so that in case we upload something, you will be notified. Stay tuned.